Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kristen and today is the day that we all have been waiting for since the last few weeks, the ultimate fall wreath playlist. So excited about this. Natalie is the host of this from Design to the Nines and I was lucky enough to be able to co-host with her. Like I said, my name is Kristen and I do a lot of DIYs on my channel. I do reviews. I think those are super fun and I do vlogs once in a while. Um, I kind of quit doing cleaning videos but anyways you guys, enough of that. I kind of did Dollar Tree wreaths I wanted to want to save money I want to use some items that I already had and that's kind of what I'm about I love Dollar Tree I know that some people are probably getting sick of all these Dollar Tree videos but you guys that's the most affordable way to make DIYs like so I went with affordable I went with simple I went with easy I went with hot glue I went with just really simple simple wreaths but I hope you guys enjoy them also the playlist will be listed in the description box down below so you guys can check out everybody's video who joined this ultimate fall wreath playlist i want to keep saying challenge but i'm not going to i'm not going to say it also natalie and i's channels are going to be linked in the description box or natalie's channel is going to be yeah i guess i'll put my link in the description box if you guys want to check out what else i got going on besides just this ultimate fall wreath playlist and also if you guys don't have youtube we did let you hashtag ultimate fall wreath in Instagram so you also can share your wreaths if you're not a YouTuber because sometimes I wonder how I'm able to even do it because I don't know how to work a computer to save my life but I do know how to edit a tiny bit, little bit, just a little, kind of. So yeah, I can't wait to see you guys come up with I cannot wait to check out every single video. I hope there's 100. If not, I hope there's at least 20. So you guys, anyways, I'm getting started. I'm going to show you guys what I did for the ultimate fall wreath playlist. For this first wreath, I'm just going to be using one of these foam wreath forms from the Dollar Tree, a bunch of this burlap from Burlap Fabric, and a ton of these acorns. I actually ended up using seven packages of them, and then I probably could have used a couple more if I wanted the entire wreath full, but I think I did a pretty good job just making the wreath look good from the front the back side I can't say a whole lot of but at least it holds up on a door so I'm just going to take my burlap and I'm just going to hot glue one end and I'm just going to do an easy wrapping and just wrap it all the way around the wreath and the rain, and blame. I'm a weary pirate and my heart is made of dust and gray and spoiled champagne I've got troubles, I've got sins, I'm my worst enemy, but I've still got a lot to give, so I said, hey, don't you want and then once the burlap was wrapped all the way around the wreath form, I just opened up all the bags of acorns. It just worked so much easier that way so you could just grab and go. And I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and glue them all around. And I'm not gluing them the exact same way. I think this looks a lot better just because everything doesn't look so uniform. You're a born survivor, and you'll never find yourself in love. You're wise enough. I got troubles, I got sins. I'm my worst enemy, but I still got a lot to give. So I said, Hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? Say by chance, don't you want a man, a man who fully understands a sailor's heart, a sailor's heart. So I said, hey, don't you want to come, come and run away with me, hey, won't you come? 
This one was super easy to do. There isn't really a right or wrong reason. I kind of just started from the outside and went towards the inside. I think that did help out a lot. So if you do decide to make this, I would definitely work your way from the outside towards the inside. And then I just picked up these bows with little leaves on them. They're little burlap from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just gonna take one and once everything is done, I am just going to glue it right to the top. And that is it for this wreath. I absolutely love this. I think it is so cute. Although this probably was one of the more expensive wreaths I did make because it was about $9 to make. I still think it is totally worth it and it is so cute. And for the next wreath, I did use a wreath form from Walmart. You could definitely get one from the Dollar Tree. I know they have the wicker wreaths or even like the stick wreaths, if that's what you want to call them. But I knew I wanted to change this out from Walmart. I didn't want to leave it this way, although I thought it was such a steal paying $4.50 for the wreath. And then I could always reuse all of the little floral and everything on it. I don't plan to get rid of any of them. I just want to reuse them. And I didn't realize they were hot glued into this. So it was kind of a pain getting everything off and then trying to hide the hot glue or cutting it out without actually ruining the wreath. This was so, so, so messy as you can tell by my floor. And then next I did just want to add some fairy lights to give it a little bit of lighting and then once I put this on I realized I probably should have added a couple more because you couldn't really tell that the lights were on or that there was even any there just because this like these sticks just kind of sucked everything in but regardless I still think it is a really cute touch you can definitely tell when it's dark outside. And I chose to keep this really simple, no hot glue, nothing like that, just in case if eventually I do want to redo it into something. I had these pumpkin clips left over from last year at Dollar Tree, and I know that you can still get them now. I think they're like maybe different colors or a little bit different, but anyways, that is what I'm going to be using. This was so easy. I just clipped them on all around the wreath and then this little happy harvest sign that did come from the Dollar Tree this year. I think that one is so, so cute. And then I'm always the first one to rip all of the twine and everything off of these signs because I didn't think I was going to be using it. And then I realized I probably did need one. So I just used some craft wire. This is kind of flimsy, came from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to tie the sign right to the wreath using that. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you hit that button down below so you don't miss any more of my fun, fun videos. And make sure you check out the playlist also in my description box down below so you guys can check out everybody else's videos that chose to do the ultimate wreath playlist, ultimate fall wreath playlist, my bad. And also thank you to Natalie for letting me co-host. It was so much fun and I really enjoyed this. So ta-ta for now.